Hello and welcome to Cottontails. Cottontails Rescue has been running since 1993. We're a registered charity and we take in unwanted rabbits and guinea pigs. And what we do then is they're all checked by the vets, neutered, vaccinated and matched into pairs before we put them up for adoption. If you'd like to adopt rabbits from us, you will need a very big hutch. I'd recommend a six foot by two foot by two foot as a good size, uh, with the run permanently attached. Now that really is important. The two story hutches look very nice, but they really aren't suitable for most rabbits. With the ramps, the rabbits can break their legs as they twist on them. They often chew the ramps as well, which is not very good. And the runs themselves underneath are just not big enough at all. You can add another run onto that again, but you might as well just start off and get what you need from the beginning. The runs themselves need to be of good solid construction with solid wire. Sighted on patio is best, then the rabbits can't dig out, the foxes can't dig in. And it also means the rabbits won't make their run into a muddy mess as they would if they were on grass. Now for obvious reasons, for the point of your rabbits getting out or anything else getting in, you do need secure lids. We use the dog lead catches like those to secure the lids to the runs and that works really, really well. We've got one at each diagonal if you like, but you could have four on there. It wouldn't really matter as long as it's secure. And catches for the actual doors should be bolts or padlocks, not hook and eyes, because foxes etc can easily open those. Make sure with the um, lids on the runs that they are sloping slightly, so you'll need to put a batten at the back to make sure it's sloping forward so any rain will just run off as opposed to running actually into the hutch, which wouldn't be particularly useful at all. The plastic we use is the ones that she used for our conservatories um, on the top. And in the summer, we paint the underside with the greenhouse white paint just to make sure the heat keeps to a minimum. And the other thing I strongly recommend is instead of black felting on hutch roofs is that you either paint the felting white or put some white plastic sheeting on because that makes it much, much cooler in the summer. Looks a bit odd sometimes, but it, uh, it works very, very well. I'm now going to show you the accommodation with the lid off. This is the setup with the lid removed. As you can see, I've taken off the day area door because there's just no need to have it on. The, the rabbits have access to this run 24 hours a day, so there's just no point having the door on there. The sleeping quarter door is still there, so still give them a bit of privacy. As you can also see from the uh, devastation they've caused to this box, they absolutely love chewing, so things like wicker baskets rope work baskets, anything like that go down very very well. Cardboard boxes, bits of wood, all that kind of thing. Really good. And we also give them litter trays to use. Um, being a rescue we tend to give them three trays but you might find two or one is enough depending on your rabbits. We give one in the day area, one in the sleeping area in the corner and one on the outside. And we actually use dog beds uh, for the outside. We find they work very very well. Now the hutch, for obvious reasons, needs to be off the ground. We use breeze blocks to um, elevate it off the ground so it doesn't get damp. You will therefore need to have something across the front to stop um, the rabbits going underneath. So a plank of solid wood is quite good just to go across the front there and securely fixed. With the runs, we've actually had made the little doors to open so it's actually easier to to clean them out like that and it also stops the rabbits nipping out past your feet. Obviously if you leave it open for long enough they will hop out and uh, run around the garden but uh, it does stop them nipping past your feet when you come in. Hutch and run attached is absolutely vital for bunnies. If the run is not attached to the hutch, you tend to find the rabbits get shut in and, and left, especially if people are busy or not well or whatever. So this system means they can go in and out 24 hours a day without having to rely on anybody at all, and it works very, very well. Although people think that rabbits are suitable as children's pets, they really are not. 
they don't like being handled very much and this does not matter whether you've had them from very small or not rabbits in general really don't like being picked up they are curious as you can see from this one here he's coming to say hello and on their terms they can be quite friendly and some of them will let you stroke them quite readily especially these two here they quite enjoy it but to be picked up on a regular basis they would soon find that they would be running away from you they just don't like it so as a children's pet absolutely not guinea pigs on the other hand do make good children's pets and I could thoroughly recommend guinea pigs but rabbits are more a family pet for an adult to take main responsibility for and the children perhaps have a passing interest because bear in mind with children normally after about a month they, they're bored with the whole thing and when they realize they can't pick them up and cuddle them all the time then of course the interest goes even more they're also a very expensive pet here at cottontails before they're adopted they are already neutered vaccinated etc so everything has been done but if for example you buy one from a pet shop or from a breeder you're going to have to find about 70 or 80 pound to neuter a male about 100 pound plus to neuter a female and the vaccinations, while well, they vary between about 20 and 30 pounds per inoculation per rabbit. And the myxomatosis, you need two jabs a year and BHD, one jab a year. So you can imagine how quickly you're going to end up spending a lot of money on what you may have thought was a disposable child's pet. If you take a rabbit on, it is a very serious undertaking, just as serious really as taking on a dog or a cat, certainly from the financial aspect. Rabbits can live for 10 years, most of them live for about 7 to 8 years, but some of the smaller breeds can go to double figures quite easily. Trouble is when they look like this, you can see why children find them so delightful. But believe me, that doesn't last long. The large majority of rabbits coming in here have been bought originally for children. And then the children have got bored. The lucky ones are the ones that come in here. I think an awful lot, sadly, are just released. And of course, most domestic rabbits will not survive in the wild at all. Taken on their own merits, they make a very, very nice pet, but either an adult pet or a family pet. And the more you put into their environment, the more you will get out of them. Give them lots of things to do and to play with and to run around, lots of space. And they'll give you many hours of pleasure.